Dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to cover in today's video. Today's video is very informative for those students who are targeting AAT, right? Now what is AAT? AAT is Architecture Aptitude Test. This is a very important test, right? This will open a gateway to admission in IIT Roorkee or IIT Kharagpur. This exam is normally conducted to take admission in BARC courses in these two IITs. This is one of the renowned course in IIT. So again, we are going to cover a complete information about this AAT 2021. So this video is going to be really informative. Just a small request folks, keep watching this video till the end, you will really enjoy. All right, let's start today's video. Now before starting this video, let me just tell you what are the things that we are going to cover in the next 10-15 minutes. We are going to start with about of the entrance exam. What is the nature? What is the exam pattern? Okay. Then we will be moving on to the eligibility of this AAT. Then we will be moving on to the seats, the seats in IIT Khulki and IIT Kharagpur, right? Then we'll be moving on to the admission form process. Then what is the admission form process? Where are the exam centers? Then detailed explanation of the syllabus. Also the cutoffs, we'll briefly discuss about the cutoff thing also. And again, after this point of time, if you still have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section below, okay? So let's start. Let's start about the about of architecture aptitude test, which is AAT. Now, typically this is for those students who wish to take admission in BR program offered by IIT Roorkee or IIT Kharagpur, right? If I talk about the language in which this exam is taken, this is only English, no Hindi, only, only English. And also candidates are required to bring their own drawing and coloring aids because see this exam is related to architecture, right? So the stuffs which is actually related to architectures like your boxes, your drawing tools or your coloring aids, you need to just take it to the exam centers. All right. They will not provide you. Okay. There will be only one paper of three hours and there is no official pattern as such about the last year question paper pattern. But again, we have just analyzed the last two, three years of the paper that has been seen that the general trend in the questions are such that Probably there are chances that you will get four questions in GK, that is general knowledge, three questions in geometry drawing, three questions in 3D aspects, three questions in freehand, and three questions from the topic imagination and aesthetic sensitivity. These are actually the five sections, right? So we will going to cover the entire section syllabus in the coming slides. So don't worry. You can expect somewhere around 16 questions. You need to solve 16 questions in three hour span. All right. If you want to get more information about this exam or related, you can visit the site, which is jeeadv.ac.in. All right. So this is just a brief about this AAT, okay, which is Architecture Aptitude Test. Now let's move on to the eligibility criteria. Typically, candidates who are eligible to appear in JE mains and JE advance are also eligible to appear for AAT 2021 because see this is just like you are going to be eligible for the two exams which is JE mains and JE advance but the prerequisite is that you need to qualify the two exams once you qualify JE mains you are enrolled into or you get into JE advance and once you clear the cutoff of JE advance then only you are eligible to give this entrance which is AAT okay so you need to qualify both the exams separately that is JE mains and JE advance all right. And again, while JE advance registration, when you do the registration of JE advance, you must have opted for appearing in AAT exam. I'll tell you the process. What is the examination process? From there on, you'll have a fair idea, right? Till here, till this point of time, there is no officially date came. But yes, you should be keep visiting the sites for more information. Okay. Now let's move on. Let's move on to the seats. The seats which is offered in IIT Roorkee and IIT Kharagpur. So IIT Roorkee have 35 seats for this program, BRC and IIT Kharagpur have 43. So this sums up to 78 to 80 seats for this program. This is a renowned program. Okay. Now, if I just dis uh, talk about the seat distribution in the category wise, so of course, this is a national level institute, right? IIT is Indian Institute are all national level institute. This represents a country. So of course, you will find reservation in here. Typically, reservation says that 50% seats are reserved for the general category students, right? And the rest 50% are categorized into SC, ST, OBC, PWD, and then other categories, right? Let's briefly discuss about it. So these are the category heads like Open, Open PWD, SC, 
SC PWD, then ST, ST PWD, OBC NCL, OBC NCL PWD. Okay, so we just talk about the seats distribution in IIT Kharagpur. Then this is 2005-130-110. This sums up to 40 in total, respectively. All right. And if I talk about IIT IIT Rulki, sorry. So if I talk about IIT Rulki, this is 1715-03090. So this sums up to 35. Again, there will be some addition or subtraction of seats, plus one or minus one. That happens. Why this happens? Because, see, these all are national level institute. Okay. So, if these all are national level institute, then this is mandate that they have to take students from respective categories only. Let me just give you a simple example. Like, suppose, uh, like in the category of SC, by any chance, only four admission happened out of five. So, they are not going to take students from general category or any other category. The student have to be have the category from SC only. All right. So this is why there is some seat variance and this happens normally in national institutes or government institutes. These are common trends. All right. Let's move on to the next part. But before moving on to the next part, let me just announce a very important part here that for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebook related to DASACIWG quota. Kindly download it from the link in the description below. Okay, so you have the link. We have prepared a compiled set of NRI ebooks, which is related to DASSCIWG. For NRI students, you can download it from the link in the description below. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the admission form process. Typically, if you are just going to fill the form of any other examination, what do you do? You go to some cyber cafe or simply you just click on your laptop open your chrome and then visit the site follow instruction same happens in here but there is a click let me just tell you let's just briefly discuss about it you need to visit JE advanced official site which is jeeadv.ac.in and then you need to click on the link which is jee advanced aat registration 2021 okay now you have to enter your JE Advanced 2021 registration number because you have actually registered for JE Advanced then only you are eligible to apply for AAT right this is the required condition also you need to enter your date of birth mobile number and email address okay then after that there will be a question there will be a pop-up that says that are you interested in AAT 2021 then you will say that yes I'm interested and you just click on yes and then proceed once you click on proceed then candidates have to choose the exam centers i'll just tell you about the exam centers as well normally what are the exam centers and post that you may verify the information entered and then submit aat application form 2021 okay so till date there is no official communication regarding the dates came but yes you keep visiting the site which is jeeadv.ac.in okay all right let's move on let's move on to the exam centers what are the exam centers exam centers are normally iit delhi zone IIT Rolki Zone, IIT Madras Zone, IIT Bombay Zone, IIT Guwahati Zone, IIT Kanpur Zone and IIT Kharagpur Zone. So these are actually the old IITs and the famous IIT instance. So if by chance you're getting a chance to visit the centers, they'll definitely visit the campus as well, right? So that is an advantage, okay? Now let's move on to the exam patterns and syllabus. So as I just told, there is no official information regarding the exam pattern as such, but we have just taken the trend, the last two year trends. And this follows that the duration of exam is three year mode of uh, language is English. This is a off offline pen paper exam, right? You just need to use your pen and paper because of course this is just like you are going to use your geometry stuffs, your architect stuffs to give this exam. So of course this is going to be offline. There is no chance that it will be online this year as well. Now, what is the section? Section I just told, there are total five sections. These are imagination and aesthetic sensitivity, three-dimensional perception, geometrical drawing, freehand drawing, and architectural awareness. Again, these are those topics which you have studied till class 12. Now, this will be an added advantage for those students who are from NIFT background because they have been saying this thing time and again. All right. Let's discuss, let's discuss about the detailed syllabus of the sections because there are a total of five sections. So if I just cover the section, which is freehand drawing. So under the freehand drawing, the freehand drawing consists of simple drawing depicting the total object in its right form and proportion, surface texture, relative locations and detail of its component parts in appropriate scale and common domestic or day-to-day -day life usable objects like furniture, equipments from the memory. So Again, that not a big deal, but yes, at this point of time, I'll just recommend that go through the last year papers. You'll have a fair idea that what type of questions are asked. All right. Now, you will find in some sites that, of course, there are people who will just scan the offline question paper, just like in the board examinations do, and you can just see and just have a fair idea. 
all right let's move on to the geometrical drawing in the geometrical drawing these are exercises from geometrical drawing containing lines as a name derived geometrical drawings so all the 3ds and 2ds that you have learned till date like triangles angle quadrilaterals circle polygons right then prism cylinders angle of elevation angle of differentiation so all those things which are actually directly or indirectly relating to drawing objects all right now let's move on to the other three sections which is three dimensional perception as a name derive three dimensional perceptions again from that mathematical three d thing only let's discuss these are appreciation and understanding of three dimensional forms in the building element then again you have some questions from color volume or orientation of the 3d figures and there will be definitely one questions from visualization you need to visualize and then again analyze that figure or you have to do some manual work like visualization through structuring objects in memory okay now if i talk about the imagination and aesthetic sensitivity then these are the compositions exercises with given elements there will be context mapping creative checks through innovative uncommon tests with unfamiliar objects sense of grouping coloring or applications related questions you can expect from this section and finally if i just discuss about architectural awareness architectural awareness so these are general interest and awareness of famous architectural creation both national and international places and personalities in the related domain again at this point of time i'm just giving you a very special tip that go through the last year question papers you'll have a fair idea right these are the common topics right so of course these are the topics that you guys may or may not be familiar with because you're not uh, from nift background or any fashion designing or any architect designing background right you must be from science background or must be pc mb max to max right so you need to visit on you need to just go through the last year question papers all right and also i'm just wanted to tell you one more thing here that if you have qualified j mains and j advance right then definitely apply for this form which is aat because this is a renowned course bachelor's in architecture is one of the renowned course from iits if i briefly talk about the fees the fees are normally 8 to 10 lakhs in both the iits and the return on investment on 8 to 10 lakhs is 10 to 12 lakhs which is more than 100% right the amount which you invest so this is a very good option right all right let's move on let's move on to the exam cut off so exam cut off is the function of three four inputs like your score in je mains your score in je advance along with your score in this entrance exam aat along with other parameters as well so this is in house decision that is not disclosed in short you have to perform very well in all the entrances all right so this is just a brief about exam cut off typically it has been seen from the last year data that if you have scored or if your ranking is 6600 you will get a call from this biac program till 69 65 in the general category from iit kharagpur okay again if you have scored 69 85 rank you will get a call from iit roorkee till 96 73 okay if i talk about general obc this is about the general if i talk about obc then of course if you scored or if your rank is 3100 33 you will get a call till 33 62 okay from iit kharagpur and if i talk about iit roorkee then this is if you have scored 38 73 rank then again this is a blank in here which means that the seat is full right this is just like first come first serve basis there are total 78 seats right and you have just created a chain of 300 400 500 700 1000 rankers so anyone can come and get first all right so that's why nothing told about this cut off thing in short you just need to perform well that's it and as a general trend follows in india is that you have to score a bare minimum of 60% of the total score then you are actually clearing the cut off that will be more than enough 60% or above all right in normal academics and in the entrance exam as well somewhere it is 30% 40% even 50% and 60% all right so this is just a brief about and the entire information about aat i hope you enjoyed this video again subscribe our youtube channel which is test prep card press the bell icon if you have not pressed yet ask your any doubts related to aat in the comment section and also share this link to as many friends as you can all right see you in the coming videos thank you